Hey, what's up guys? It's Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking a little bit about uh, the difference between TCP and UDP on your VPN application. Now, you might have seen this setting before in a few different VPN providers. Um, off the top of my head, I know that Private Internet Access, TorCard, and as well as some other VPNs do offer the ability to customize this. So you might be wondering, well, what's the difference between TCP and UDP? Well, at the basic level, TCP and UDP are network protocols used to send data packets. Both TCP and UDP for the data packets from your device until they reach their final destination. Well, TCP is known for better reliability, the ability to bypass more firewalls, but it is going to give you slower speed. Now, UDP might give you faster speed. Um, and be used more often, but it might be less reliable in terms of the VPN connection. So why is TCP more reliable than UDP? Well, TCP uh, VPN offers uh, more stable connections as the protocol guarantees uh, more delivery of packets, and it can bypass firewalls as well. Uh, since TCP VPN tunnels aren't blocked as much as UDP, um, they do run on common ports like 80 and 443. So sometimes TCP can bypass strict firewalls depending on where you are. Um, UDP is more commonly blocked. However, it, it is faster. TCP uses a uh, higher encryption methods that tend to slow down the transfer rates a little bit. Um, so for higher transfer rates, you use OpenVPN with UDP. UDP does offer better speeds than TCP. Um, so this is one reason why it is used more for streaming and torrenting and stuff like that which requires high speeds. Another thing worth noting is that UDP does not work over Tor. So if you want to use the Tor network, you're going to have to use TCP. So guys, in conclusion, which one should you use, UDP or TCP? Well, UDP is the more efficient protocol, so I would suggest using that first. However, if you're experiencing problem with VPN and not being able to connect or something like that, I would suggest using TCP. Uh, you might get slower speeds, but it might be more reliable. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this short tutorial tip kind of video. And let me know if you have any more comments about VPN down in the question down below. Comments down below, and I'll see you again very soon. Remember to check out the links down in the description down below and stick around for this little clip after this to purchase a t-shirt from my channel if you want to support me. Thanks for checking out another video guys from Tom Spark Reviews and I'll see you again very soon.